Hey everyone. I'm in Quartzsite. I can take this off now. I'm in Quartzsite, Arizona, and uh, been buying some meteorites with uh, Mohammed Hamani. Uh, let's go in and check out his stuff. Join me. Might have to put this back on. Safety first, right? Yes, feels good to be out of the sun. And there is Mohammed. Mohammed Hamami. Good, how are you doing? Fantastic, man. Yeah. All the way from France. <laughs> Let me take them off my sunglasses so I can see what I'm doing, guys. Some really nice material in here. Some diagonite. Wait till you see the Mars that he has. The fresh crusted Mars is absolutely redonkulously beautiful. I had to buy some. CK5 slice. With a nice CAI in there too. Wow. Not normally seen in CK5s. Diagonite and a Brackenite. That is a beautiful diagonite. If you guys see anything displayed that you want to purchase, let me know and uh, I'll hook it up for you guys. Of course, it wouldn't be Arizona without Canyon Diablos. Yeah. And Agudal. Some good sized Agudals. Yeah. You normally don't uh, find like 35 grammars like this just laying around. So it's. Cappadociello. Oh, look at these Zago dolls in here. Oh. Yeah, look at this. Oh, over here? This is like 4 kilo This, oh. There we go. 4.6 kilos, my man. Holy crap. That feels like a lot more than 4.6 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> That is gorgeous. Beautiful shape to it. Wow. Look at the tall cable. That is amazing, yeah. Hey, Marco in Germany joining us. Nice. Thank you, sir. Wow. Yeah, that is, that is a hunk of iron right there, man. Huge blowout. Let's see what else we got going on here. Stay. That's an impact melt. An impact melt breccia here. Sorry. Nice. Okay. Can he get it back on here? Yes, he can. Well, no, he can't. <laughs> there we go. Six point four kilos. I'm not really sure the classification on this one. Definitely an H. Yeah, James, this is without the Tucson show, you got to come to Quartzsite. It's where the action is. Uh, hopefully, in April, we'll be all convening in Tucson. 
beautiful. Look at the texture on this one. I don't even have to test it with my magnet. I know based on the outside that is an H, probably an H6, but yeah, man, that's a nice one. I like that. I really like that texture. The tactile feel on this is just amazing. Maybe more weathered than some people like, but to me that adds just character beyond belief. You can really feel, really feel the texture of the meteorite. Some uh, residual uh, remnant fusion crust with some nice regmaglyphs in here. Kind of a weird pattern going up here. But that is a beautiful meteorite. I like that one a lot. This is another one that I like the shape of right here. It looks like maybe it might be uh, oriented for Marco, but it's not. It looks like it's just a, a roundy. But if you guys want any of this stuff, reach out to me and I uh, will definitely hook up the deal with the maestro himself over there. Wait till you look in that cabinet right there. There is some Mars in there. It's gonna blow your mind. It is the most beautiful, fully crusted, beautiful, beautiful Martian. Um, it, it is thicker than uh, Tissant crust, fully crusted. I think it's like 31 grams. It's remarkable. Look at how weathered this one is. When you, that's one of the great things I enjoy about meteoritics. You can, each meteorite really tells a different story. You can tell this one was obviously terrestrialized a lot longer than uh, like this one per se. Uh, you see a lot of uh, the water has gotten into the cracks and crevices, made it its way down into the iron, uh, expanded the iron and cracked the rock even more. So you have this real gnarled, weathered look on it versus something a lot fresher that actually has remnant crust on it. Hey, Nordine. Uh, let's see what's over here. Oh, Al Hugyani 001. 15 cents a gram, guys. Unbelievable. There, there's a few of them in here that look like they may have a little bit of blue on the inside we were, we were thinking about. This one's obviously very weathered. We're talking about Ensign tights. So we were thinking, was it this one? Yeah, it was this one that uh, John Humphreys and I was thinking might be, uh, might have uh, some blue on the inside of it. But uh, here's NWA 869. Uh -huh. Ashley uh, and John Humphreys are both here and uh, had to fight John for some Mars almost. We both had our eyes set on the same piece. If anyone wants any of this, let me know because I can definitely hook you up while I'm here. Once I leave, I'm not coming back. These are running uh, 40 cents a gram. Just different. That's a really light, light meteorite. But um, some of these have been cut open. Let me go back to this one over here. Like this right here. Huge chondro right there. Yeah, so this is what I've been doing pretty much, just checking out what he has. There's some beautiful, beautiful knives in here. I would imagine that they are, well, they're shaving, but they're made with a Damascus blade. Are these meteorite blades or no, just Damascus? No, no, just Damascus. Just Damascus, okay. Not just Damascus, but they are Damascus. 
would love it if they yeah. were me, right? <laughs> I, I've actually seen someone who made a Damascus steel out of meteorite. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. oh my god, that's so, yeah. so much work. It's beautiful, yeah. So much work. But you lose a lot of weight. You know, I have a customer in France who did this. Mm -hmm. He bought a big piece of campos and when he melted, mm -hmm. he told me that he, he lost like Wow. Yeah, I hate cutting lost. It, it or yeah, just you start out with a whole lot more than you end up with. Wow, these are nice. Wow. But this is this is the VIP stuff over here. Um, maybe I can ask uh, Muhammad to take out the the Martian for me. This Martian is amazing. Like. Prepare to be wowed. Anyone who uh, who wants some of it right now, let me know because these are the only pieces he has, and I'll pass it along right now at, at two hundred dollars a gram. So it's the most amazing Mars I've seen. Check this stuff out. First, we'll get an overall view of it. Hey, Rob, noise. Okay, so this we're going to start out with the creme de la creme. Thirty-one point something grams of perfect fusion crusted shergatite. Marco Geyser says hello to you. Wow, look at that. Is that not the most exquisite crust you've ever seen on a Martian? completely encrusted. Mo, can I step outside for a second with this? Sure, yeah, go ahead. Always ask this connection, guys. Look at this out in the sun. The most beautiful piece of Mars I've ever seen in my life. 100% fusion crusted. Total flow lines. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Any Martian collectors who have to have it, this is what you want right here. That is crazy beautiful, isn't it, guys? Wow. That is crazy, crazy beautiful. Let me show you this one here. Is that the sexiest Mars you've seen? Look at this, guys. I'm absolutely in love with that piece of Mars. Hey, Luke, good to see you online, bud. It is just unbelievable. Oops. So if you guys don't already know or aren't connected with Mohammed Hamani. I'm gonna tag him in this post, but here's the man right here. Thank you very much, buddy. Wearing his uh, Falling Rock shirt and Dave Geesling in your honor. Yeah, every time I go to Tucson, I go out of my way to make sure I track down Mohammed. Not that he's hard to find. Wow. This I just, I could stare at this Martian 
all day long. This is the one I really wanted to buy, but decided not to. So it's still available. Wow, just unbelievable. So I got a few small pieces of, of this Mars to sell um, and one for myself. This one will not be going home with me. Whoops, hey, there I am. Wow, someone screenshot that there. That's my, that's my new wallpaper. <laughs> Just some beautiful, beautiful material. Thank you, Mohammed, very much. You know what? C could you grab the uh, uh, the ungrouped achondrite? That is some pretty, pretty material. This is uh, Mohammed's classification, NWA 2400. It pairs with NWA 011. So this is the famous ungrouped achondrite. And he has beautiful, beautiful pieces. A lot of them have fusion crust. Yes, I agree with you, Eric. Very nice flow lines. Oh, on the Mars, yeah. The, the Mars flows. Mars is almost too glossy to look at. Look at this. Let's see if we can get a nice magnified view. So this is the ungrouped achondrite NWA 2400 and he has some very nice pieces and sizable pieces like this one intact This is uh, some very, very valuable and important scientific material. You'll see this selling for $200 a gram easily. Look at the little patches of fusion crust still on here. It. It's just, I've, I've seen pictures of this and I've always wanted to look at it in person, but having, a, having pieces this size really helps you visualize the, the crystalline structure in this. Going out into the sun so you guys can see it a little bit better. NWA 2400 ungrouped achondrite. Uh, Fabrice, nice to see you online with us. I'm visiting with Mohammed Hamani right now. Mohammed and his last name is H M A N I. <laughs> this is crazy hello. hello how are you doing i'm fantastic good i'm loving life and kicking butt <laughs> yeah. another piece that shows great fusion crust on it no sure and look at look at the look at this um, this one doesn't have very much caliche on it at all so when you get it out in the sun you can really see that crystalline structure the ungrouped achondrite 
it's really bright on my phone right now so I really can't tell if I'm in focus I hope I am <laughs> All right, that is spectacular. Yeah. I gotta stop touching this one. When you, when you, the problem is, Wait, where? There he is. When you have a piece this nice and a guy that nice, <laughs> it wants to go home with you. <laughs> so I'm having a hard time walking away from this and showing it to you guys and seeing all your. No, we're in uh, Quartzsite, Arizona right now. Hold on. Advertising. It's backwards. <laughs> yeah, just an amazing little piece here. Not little, but. The treasures of the universe in in the rock. I'm blown away every every time I hold a meteorite. I'm blown away. It doesn't get old. And the day I can hold Mars or the Moon and not have my pulse quicken is the day I quit. These are so spectacular. So those are the ungrouped achondrite and his Mars. And then uh, he has some CV3 um, um, anomalous, which is the 1465? Yeah, four, 1465. Um, some nice pieces in here. This one's already been cut and lapped a little bit. But there's other pieces in here that, like this right here, you put that on a lap. I think there's only five CV3 and anomalous. There's only like five of them. So this is one of them. You see the uh, chondral formation. This wouldn't take much to put on a lap and make it look really, really nice. And, there's a this is the one I, I was almost gonna buy right here because it's almost a tablet already all you need to do is put it on a lap and you got a beautiful no no slicing no cut loss really so this is NWA 1465 the CV3 anomalous. So this is a really good piece right here for uh, for lapping. Um, then there's other pieces in here for cutting and stuff. Yes, you can buy the stands. Um, no, here's. We sell it without the stand. Okay. But you can have you can buy you can buy another stand from there. We buy all the stands. Gotcha. So we, we have the stone, so yeah, this is this is what I'm used to seeing. This one is usually covered with caliche. So to find beautiful pieces like this, find beautiful pieces like this, like this right here is the way to go. Hey, Tom. Yeah, Sean, I'll buy it with your money, Sean. Yeah, this. Oh God, do I want it? Oh, yeah, I want it. Am I gonna buy it? I don't know. <laughs> Some good CV3 pieces in here. Yeah, so some crust. 
man is helping me. Wait, please. <laughs> You're just going to have to wait your turn, man. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it's on there very well. Doesn't. I probably should have waited until the end to buy this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a place called. Who wants this one? The CV3. That's the CV. I, God, I might have to get that. This is a nice sized piece. I could probably do a better polish on it, but. Yeah. yeah, so this is. This is what I may be getting right here, but I got to go back to the Mars. Just for in case anyone is just joining us. When you really sit back and contemplate the chain of events that had to happen, the chain of events that had to happen to bring this piece of Mars to my hand right now, it's really overwhelming uh, when you think about it. The planet Mars is out there in the solar system, just doing its own thing, hanging out, following its orbit. All of a sudden, a rock just slams into it out of nowhere didn't really burn up in the atmosphere. Mars has such a, a, a thin atmosphere, it's really unprotected. So the impact ejected material into the air. A lot of it landed back on the planet, but some of it was ejected with enough velocity that it actually escaped the gravitational pull of Mars and left Mars entirely just to go out its direction in space. It had 365 degrees of angles that it could go. Somehow, using gravity and orbital sciences, it found its way on a trajectory to Earth. It didn't come in straight and pop. It didn't come in too shallow and totally obliterate and burn up. It came in at the perfect angle. Think about that. So he has some really nice ablation. The sense of the material coming in. And then you think, God, 70% of the world is ocean. Then you have rainforest, you have jungles, you have streams, you have lakes. What's the odds that this piece of Mars is going to actually find its way to a piece of Earth that it can sit on. And then you factor in the fact that someone actually found it, identified it, collected it, and classified it for science. And now it's in my hand. Like I said, guys, it, I never get tired. It never gets old. And, and when you really think of all the stuff that had to happen to, in the right way to bring this to me, anything off by a few degrees, this would have missed Earth. Or we might not have it back on Earth for a few thousand years, 100,000 years, until, we pass, or until our paths cross again. So I absolutely enjoy the science of meteorites. Um, but I love the story and the power behind meteorites. It's really our connection to the universe and the cosmos. So that's my two cents on why I love meteorites, guys. Let's take a look at some. Some more shergatite up here. Wow, look at that lunar. I'm going to have to ask for VIP access on that lunar. <laughs> this is why it's great having powerful friends in the rock business. Oh my.
How is this classified? This isn't Bell's path of rest yet. It, it is? Wow. See, I'm always learning, guys. I would have assumed this was a troctolite. Look at that. A hunk of the moon, guys. Everything I was just saying about um, Mars, now it applies to the moon. There we go. Look at that shock vein. This is in focus. I really can't even see my screen right now. There it is. Yeah. Is this a troctolite, Marco? Look at that. Wow. It's hard not to walk away wanting everything I touch. I'll try to speak up, guys. Sorry. There. I, was, I had my hand over the mic, I think. Can you guys hear me better now? Yeah, those shock veins are crazy. And I can actually, yeah, wow. Thank you, Luke, appreciate it. Well, Rick, I can't scream. I'm not gonna draw that much attention to myself. I'm already the loudest person in here. <laughs> Jeez, a moly. This is just fabulous. Smooth that is. Spectacular lunar. Wow. Unbelievable, guys. I know I keep saying that, but it is unbelievable. I don't know the weight of it, but it feels like 70 grams or something like that. I'll be surprised. Let me see. Oh, yeah. 123 grams. I'm right-handed, so there. I have to hold the phone like that. Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> so this is uh, 123 grams. And I bet it is glassy if you cut it on the inside where those shock veins are. That is just crazy looking. Man. I can only hold my phone with my right hand. 
and uh, do that. So this goes back. This is NWA uh, 8599. I'll go ahead and stick this back. Euro white. Nice piece of holodite here with some beautiful fusion crust. So this is um, NWA six six two or six six zero two power dite. One kilo with really good fusion crust and a window into it, so you can actually see the matrix. And it's it's a beautiful uh, matrix in here as well. I don't know how to have you guys hear me. I'm practically screaming as it is, guys. Sorry. Here's the window that I was talking about. Hey Fred, good to see you online, man. This is one kilo of NWA six six zero two. I just saved 15% on my meteorite, guys. Hey, John. Good to see you, buddy. Let me, let me show you guys something. I want to get your opinion on something. I'm screaming into the mic right now, so if you can't hear me, you're deaf. It's not my problem. <laughs> Mohammed, when you get a chance, could I grab that carbonaceous mystery one? Yes. And I'll allow you to put that one back for me. Yes. Um, this is a, a kind of a weird one that um, it's a meteorite. It's a meteorite-ish. <laughs> We're 99.99% sure it's a meteorite, but you know what? We don't guess. Science will will tell us what it is. So my guess. My guess would be a carbonaceous CM type. Very, very, very low density. Not magnetic at all. I don't have any earbuds. All I can do is what I'm doing. If this isn't good enough, I'm sorry. We might have to disconnect. I'm practically screaming into my mic right now, guys. But if you look at it, there are definite chondrules. And that appears to be fusion crust. Extremely low density. But what's got our attention is these right here. Let me zoom in. Nope, that's not working. There we go. Yeah, so we're not really sure what this is.
CKs are usually a little bit more friable. This this is pretty solid. So if you have any if you have any guesses or input as to what this could be, let us know. He's not willing to sell this until it's classified, though. Because he wants to make sure he doesn't sell something that's not a meteorite, which I appreciate and can understand. Plus, he doesn't know what he has yet, doesn't know what, what it's worth. It's hard to put a price on something if you don't know what it is. That's why I never sell anything until it's classified. So that's a pretty cool one. All right, let's see what else we have. I'm gonna give this one right back to the man himself. Yeah. CK. What's this one? Oh. oh, this is the Albright. Okay, so let's go check out this Albright in the sunlight. All right, so this is an Albright. I thought it was a Eurolite when I first saw it. So, it's not focusing. There we go. Wow. It's not liking. Wow. All right, boys, my phone has decided it doesn't want to focus anymore. My phone doesn't want to work anymore, but I have an AUB right here. And uh, I'm going to sign off for now. I'm going to probably go over to uh, Ismaili's place and uh, check in with him. Uh, see you guys live over there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me. I have my mask on. They are enforcing all the masks here. But I stopped in to visit my buddy, Ismaili Muhammad. So I'm uh, visiting with my buddy. Uh, it's got a few meteorites here, some CK material, some unclassified stuff. So uh, let's take a look and see what uh, my good friend Ismaili has. There's the, the man, the myth, the legend himself, right there. <laughs> My Tucson man. So if you guys need to get a hold of him, here's his information. And got some beautiful material over here. Not a whole lot, but it's beautiful. This, when it was in the bag, I thought it was tacit at 004, but when I got it out of the bag and see it in the light, it's more beautiful than tacit. It. This is actually Dar El Kahar. Let me see. Hopefully that's in focus for you guys, but it is a beautiful meteorite. Dar El Kahar. I really hope that colors that colors coming through for you guys because the color is magnificent on it.
John Mixer's got to like that little inclusion. So, this is Dar El Kahar, and I really like that. That's some beautiful, beautiful right there. Mm. So, over here, we have some other classified stuff. Galgini. Hey, John Higgins is on. Hey, welcome, Higgins. A beautiful Howard Ida Chondrite. Look at this. Not sure the name of this one, but it is beautiful. It's NWA seventy five sixty. NWA seventy five sixty. Nice. Can anyone name this meteorite from the outside? It has a window, but I'm not going to show it until someone guesses what this is. Who knows? Higgins, you have to know what this is, buddy. I'm going to put that back. We'll focus on this a little bit. It's beautiful. Make sure we don't drop that. So here are some more. Noradeen says hello. <laughs> so do we have any guesses as to what meteorite this is? Come on guys, give me a guess. There's enough intelligent people watching right now. You should be able to identify this. There you go, John. It's Sarah Cho. Yes, sir. A beautiful piece that's now cut to be a self-stander. So that's a nice that's a nice piece. Also has some uh, end cuts here. They look to be in pretty good shape too. This is what I was getting into earlier. This is CK5 material, I believe. Um, this is what the other stuff that uh, Muhammad Hamini had, or looked like. We don't know what it was, but I think it was either CK or CM. But it looks very, it looked very similar to this. That's um, that's NWA um, one eight no one two nine two five. So that's some carbonaceous. These eucrates here are just lovely. Look at the size of this eucrite. That is monstrous. Wow. And these are beautiful on the interior. These are NWA, well, 12929. Beautiful Ukraine breccia. Let's take a look at this one and this one out in the sun. Join me if you will. So, let me put this one in my pocket real quick. I have one in my pocket. I'll get it out. Look at that. Eucrite Breccia. Wait till you see the interior of it. The interior is just as beautiful. Now, um, put the other one in my pocket for now. Well, you know what? Put it right there for now. 
Look at this. If anyone wants me to pick up pick up some of this Ukraine for them, let me know. It is gorgeous. Some fulgurite. But that is gorgeous. I like that a lot. Some beautiful Ukraine. I bought some from uh, Ismaili when he was in Tucson. Um, looked very similar to this one right here. I think the class were a little bit bigger in mine. <laughs> then we have some uh, just NWAs here. This is a really beautiful one. Love the shape of this. It's got some smooth lines to it. The matrix is visible. It does show some rollover on it, which is really nice. So we are looking at an oriented meteorite, Marco. <laughs> but yeah, it's got a beautiful look to it. Love that uh, wind divot. Oi, chihuahua. Yeah, that's a thick puppy. That's a lot heavier than it looks, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, Marco joined us again. So here's the... Uh, CK5 material. NWA12925. I don't know how I did this in Tucson for 16 days because I am tired after one day. Wow. That's an iron, but that's that's not Ego doll. This is an Ego doll, is it? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wrong. It is Agudal. It's a solid piece of Agudal, man. I like that. Yeah, these are... Look at this. That's some beautiful shape. Agudal is really not... Uh, not known for being this this beautiful. Oh, this Molly's doing good. He's laughing and smiling at everyone. There he is. <laughs> we got people from Germany asking about you. <laughs> wow, that's nice. That's a that's a nice. Without going to like a kilo or something, that's a beautiful. That's a beautiful one right there. Oops. As I knock everything over, see, I told you I'm knocking everything over. Wow. Okay, the table is not level, just so you guys know. But this way we get to touch everything. Ooh, that looks nice. That's a cutter. Yeah, I'm really digging these irons, though, these Agro dolls. I'm very used to seeing Agro doll in this condition. 
This is, you know, your standard Agu doll, but these, this one's really nice. I don't know the weight of this one. Um, let's see. I'd say that's about 200 grams. Well, it's on ounces. Yep, 280 grams. That has magnificent shape and character to it. That's a beautiful one. Then, uh, let's see what's in here. Well, these are cleaned Agua dolls. So we have uh, basically three different states of them. You know, as found, restored, and I don't know what you call this. Half in between. Clean, but not stabilized. Um, come on. This table is not level, guys. <laughs> All right. Look at this one. Oh, that's got to be. I thought that was a, looked like a melt at first. How soft and creamy it is, but it's not. These U crates here. These will make magnificent slices. Wow. Make sure the mask police aren't around. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Nordine, I will, for sure. So that's what we got going on over here. Got some Agudal witnessed uh, Churgadge. Let's see if this has any, kind of dark right here. But this is, this is what I want. I don't know if I'll buy it or not, but geez Louise. Come on now, that's beautiful guys. Look at that metal. Someone's going to want this. Man. I like that. I like that a lot, my friends. Well, the rest isn't meteorites, but let's just take a look at some of the stuff. Got trilobites. All kinds of little stuff that I don't know. All kinds of minerals. Not nearly as big as Tucson, but they do have a whole bunch of stuff here if you guys are mineral hounds. Aquamarine stuff. Yeah, so there's a little bit of everything and anything you want here, but I only go for the extraterrestrial stuff. So I'm gonna head back over here. What is it called? Valdenite. Valdenite. Beautiful stuff. Kind of wish meteorites looked like that a little bit, but it is what it is. So I'm going to take one more spin past these meteorites, and then I'll probably sign off for the day, guys. Oh, there you go. Thanks, guy. 
these look like they've been uh, worked into tools. So all these look to be a little bit uh, worked. But this is the one that's going to be hard for me to walk away from. Uh, okay, so we're looking at uh, 86 grams. Nice. I like that a lot. That's beautiful. Some whole serracho. But this is where the action is. These Eucrites. These Eucrites. Oh my God. Jesus. That's massive. These will make some great slices. And uh, let me put it down there. Little carbonaceous puppy. I don't know why it's not focusing. <laughs> yeah, Some nice rocks. All right, boys. That is all for me. Um, Rob Leffer should be around here somewhere. So I'm going to try to meet up with Rob and uh, and uh, John and his wife. There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, to Ishmael, for letting me or Ishmael for letting me shoot everything. Bye, guys.